Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CPG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame thing is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. A very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but if you look down here at the volume, well above average volume too. So lots of eyeballs on this one going forward. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first area of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up there above $3.58. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $3.58, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that would be down here at this other consolidation area. Oh, well, that makes it easy, kind of bizarre, at 348. So 358 and 348, the, those two near-term levels of support. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above the 358 mark would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as levels of resistance, I'm not even gonna touch on those, because honestly, resistance levels don't matter for this chart. What do I mean by that? Well. What matters is what the chart is already doing, and that is right here. If you look at where these lows have been, they just keep getting higher and higher. So if you envision these as stair steps, then yeah, big picture wise, as long as the price keeps on building these stair steps over time, then everything else will take care of itself, including breaking areas of resistance. So focus on building those stair steps and then just sit back and let the overall trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.